Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering drawing. And today's video was requested to me by a whole lot of subscribers. So here it is. I've done a lot of hard work in preparing this video. So here we go. So we're going to kick off today's session with scale of chords. So what is this? Scale of chords. Chord is associated with arc. Okay, so if you have a starting point of an arc, let me show you this. If, if that's the arc I'm talking about and let's say this is the center of the arc, then if you join this point, basically with this point, with the help of a straight line, then that is basically what you refer to as a chord. And this over here is what you refer to as an arc. All right, but what sort of a connection is this chord having with the scale? Well, here it is. If you do not have a protractor, the only other option left with you in order to measure angles is by making or constructing a scale of chord. Let me show you how this can essentially be created, be constructed. So here we go. Well, it's, it goes like this. First of all, you need to draw a line, a randomly horizontal line. Okay. Now this line could be of any length, but I would suggest all of you to make sure that this line right now is somewhere around 100 millimeters. So we are basically interested in making a sort of a bigger figure, a bigger diagram so that the visibility is pretty good. And uh, I forgot to tell you that the scale of chord that we are trying to prepare is having a least count of 10 degrees. What that essentially means that the minimum measurement that this scale of chord that this uh, protractor on your drawing sheet is going to measure is 10 degrees. So remember that. Okay, that's the finish with which it is going to work. So let me put in some names. Let's say this is point A and randomly we have to select a point B. So over here, I've selected this point B and I've essentially taken this distance as 60 millimeters. Okay, you can take any distance. You can take 70 millimeters or 80 millimeters, whatever. If you want to have an even more uh, bigger diagrams, you can also go for 90 millimeters or anything like that. And the next thing to do is to draw a perpendicular from B, something of this sort. And let's say this is point C. Well, BC is equal to BA. That is something that you need to ensure. So I've drawn this AB line 60 millimeters. Therefore, this BC also works out as 60 millimeters. Then the next thing to do, well, that's pretty much straightforward with B as center and with BA as the radius. You need to draw this arc. Okay, fine. What's next? Now guys, what we need to do is we need to trisect this angle over here. Now this arc AC, if you, if you watch carefully, is actually subtending an angle of how much? This angle is 90 degrees. So what, what we are basically interested in is since this is a 90 degree angle, we have to divide this 90 degree angle into how many parts? Since we are going to have a precision of 10 degrees, so I'm dividing this by 10. And we have to divide this into nine parts. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this 90 degree angle. I'm going to trisect this 90 degree angle. Okay. That is in three parts. So here we go. And for that, the idea is pretty much simple. You need to take this AB as the radius and with A as the center, you need to put an arc over here. And then with that same radii, okay, with C as center, you need to cut an arc yet again. And you can clearly see that's the trisection. And this is the 30 degree angle and this is the 60 degree angle. Okay, what's next? Now guys, uh, the next step is extremely important and something which cannot be found out in even standard books of engineering drawing or even standard books of geometry. Okay, so there is basically a problem. If you have the 90 degree angle, you can go ahead and trisect that angle. No problem. Classical geometry allows you to do so. But when you have any other angle, then 90 degrees that you need to trisect. Well, the options are pretty less. And but there is one more one option that uh, I've worked out for you and which even I have seen on YouTube. And this is an extremely important method approach by which any angle less than 90 degree angle can be trisected. And that is going to happen very easily. So essentially, we have we need to have a total nine parts. Okay, so for that, we have already made three parts. So individually, all the three parts will be converted into three parts, three parts over here, three parts over here and three parts over here. So in totality, there will be nine parts, nine parts correspond to 
10 10 degree having each path so here it is let me let me let me make this portion over here something of this sort okay next thing to do is to bisect this angle over here bisection is pretty simple okay no big deal that's it now what let me make a point over here all right now guys what you need to do is let's say this is t okay this tb line what we need to do is this tb line has to be divided into three equal parts okay and for that the process is pretty simple you need to randomly draw a line from t something like this let's say let's have arcs of radii one centimeter this way okay so with this as the center you need to cut an arc let's say it is having a radii of one centimeter then with this fellow as the center you need to cut an arc here again okay and finally we have this so we are having three arcs for dividing this line into three equal parts that's it this final point has to be joined with the end of this line that is at point b here we go the next step is pretty important you need to keep your mini drafter aligned along this line tighten the screw okay bring it to this point over here let me make a point over here bring it to this point over here and then draw a line again it should be absolutely parallel to this one repeat the process for this point also and you can clearly see this line has divided itself into three equal parts done and dusted what i'm basically interested in is this point let me mark it and let's say that the name of this point is j okay so what what we're going to do right now is that the angle was from here till we reached here so what i'll do is i'll take this b as center and bj as the radius and i'm going to make an arc over here passing through j something like this let's say this is the starting point and let's say this is the ending point now what now guys what you need to do is you need to keep one leg of your compass at j other leg over here or over here and with that much amount as the radii you need to make a circle something like this okay now you know what the circle is what the radius of the circle is right so you need to keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here and with that much amount as the radii and now with t this fellow t as the center you need to make an circle here again and you can clearly see the trisection now okay that's first part this is second part and that's third third part let's finish this right so you need to essentially repeat this process you don't have to repeat this process but you have to apply this process over to this portion and that's exactly how this 30 degree portion can be divided into three individual 10 10 10 degree portions that's it okay same stuff has to be repeated over here or the best way to do this is you can keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here with that much amount as the radii you can you can take this as the center cut an arc here and then you can take this as the center cut an arc here and that's exactly how you can cheat and you can actually go for three equal divisions right this way and finally um this is the zero degree angle zero degree angle let me write this this is 10 this is 20 40 50 60 70 80 and this over here along with c is the 90 degree angle that's it so now what now guys listen to this very carefully now what you need to do is you need to take this a as the center watch this carefully and a10 as the radius okay then you need to make an arc something like this which is going to end up over here somewhere here okay then again with a center and a20 as the radius make an arc here again repeat the same process keep on doing so that's it that's it now these two points produce lines from these two points in the downward direction let's say one centimeter lines that is essentially the width of our scale of chord and i'll tell you right now what that chord is okay so let me finish this let me bring all these points downwards okay this way and this is essentially our scale of chord and this corresponds to 10 20 30 40 you can see that very well this is 30 and that's 40 and so on okay now what now guys if you watch carefully let's take this for example let's take this 0 and 50 for example if i join the 0 with 50 that would be a chord okay that chord is over here in the form of a line chord in fact is a line but that chord here 
can be represented here also same distance okay so this chord over here the length of that chord over here is essentially representing an angle of 50 degrees similarly you can say if if i were to join a with this 40 over here then that length of the chord is subtending an angle of how much 40 degrees that's it so this essentially was the entire idea behind how you can actually create or construct a scale of chord now let's take up an example and let's see how measurements can be done with the help of scale of chords for that let's move towards the next slide here we go let's take an example and here i've already prepared a scale of chord of precision five degrees now you can also say this is having a least count of five degrees that's it let me show you the basic difference is earlier we had these points these points 0 10 20 30 and then what i have essentially done is i have bisected between 0 and 10 i have bisected between 10 and 20 and so on same process okay so this essentially is how much 5 this is how much this is 15 and uh, you can keep on writing now if i were to measure some angles well how can that be accomplished well let's for example say measure or mark how much let's say it's 40 degrees okay and the second example that i'm going to take up it's it's for 65 degrees let's see how this essentially can be accomplished so here we go what you need to do is you know very well that for 40 degrees this much from here from zero until we reach here that's the length of the chord okay if i can join this zero with 40 with the help of a straight line that is the length of the chord and this length of the chord can be seen here also from here till we reach here okay so remember this but first of all what i need to do is i need to make a line something like this same a b line a b line exact length that was 60 millimeters if i'm not wrong okay then what you need to do is you need to make a vertical line same stuff same arc okay now with a 40 as the radius and with this a as the center you need to cut an arc and this essentially is this essentially is the 45 degree angle let me show you why because when you measure this angle this is going to work out as 40 degrees now let's go ahead and understand how 65 degrees can be measured now this is also pretty easy okay so the chord for 65 is this between 60 and 70 so we have to start from 0 and we are going to end up over here somewhere between 60 and 70 okay that's 65 so with 0 and this point between these two points you need to place uh, the two legs of your compass and when you have done so you need to take this a as the center you need to cut an arc here again and this point is going to give you the 65 degree angle let me show you why here it is that's the reason so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update well needless to say i'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing on mechanics and a whole lot of other subjects also until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day keep drawing